Hi and welcome! My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video we're going to continue our section on using the file menu and we're going to look at the keyboard shortcut for creating a new workbook. So with that, let's get started. Now, if you wanted to come down and launch Excel and Excel is not currently running, once you open up Excel you'll have a couple of options. Your first option would be to create a blank workbook. You can open up a recent workbook or another workbook. So I'm just gonna click here and open up a blank workbook. Now, if you're in Excel and you've already opened up a workbook, essentially an Excel file, then you, if you wanna create a new one, the keyboard shortcut that we're gonna use is Control N. Pressing the Control key and the N key will create a new workbook and Excel will automatically name this new workbook book and then the the number following your most recent workbook. So we had book one, this is book two. If we press control N a third time, it will create book three. Now let's look at how we would create a new workbook if we did not know the keyboard shortcut control N. So there are a couple of different ways that you can create a new workbook. The first would be to use your cursor and to come up here to the file menu. On Excel 2013, there are the tabs which are organized in this manner. If you click the file tab, you'll open up this menu and here as the second or third choice, you would select new. Once you click new, you'd have a choice of what type of file you'd like to open. There are a set of templates that Excel gives you that would allow you to create something like an invoice from PayPal or maybe some planning for retirement. I'm going to just go ahead and click a blank workbook. So we've looked at control N, which will create a new workbook and we looked at clicking the file menu and going to new and blank workbook. But there's actually an intermediate step that we can take when thinking about keyboard shortcuts and that's to use the alt key and then the different ribbon menus. So if and when you press the alt key in a Microsoft Office program, a program like Excel or Word or PowerPoint, it would activate your Windows ribbon. This is the ribbon here and it's indicated by letters which are below each of the individual pieces. So I'm gonna press F for file and then N for new. And then once we arrive at this new menu, we have next to the blank workbook choice, the letter L. So if you press L, it would create a new workbook. So again, in this video, we looked at three different ways to create a new workbook. The first was to press the keyboard shortcut Control N. Control N will automatically generate a new workbook. We then looked at using our cursor and coming up to the file menu, clicking here, then going to new and blank workbook. That was the second method. And the third method we looked at was an intermediate way of using the Alt key. Pressing the Alt key activates the Windows ribbon. Then because we want to go to this file menu here, we would press the letter F. And then because we want to create a new document, we would press the letter N. And then if we want to create a blank document, we would press the letter L. So again, these are the three methods that you can use in order to create a new worksheet or a new, actually a new workbook within Microsoft Excel. There are additional ways that you can create a new workbook in Excel, but we're not gonna cover those today. So in our next video, we'll look at the keyboard shortcut Control O, which will allow us to open an existing workbook within Microsoft Excel. So if you're interested, check that out in our next video. And as always, thanks for watching.